This is The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald by Gordon Lightfoot. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchigumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. Then later that night when the ship's bell rang, could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons Lake Huron rolls, Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. 
And farther below Lake Ontario, take in what Lake Erie can send her. And the iron boats go, as the mariners all know, with the gales of November remembered. In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed, in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchigumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November